Fantastic. Did you notice the place names too? Some interesting place names there. Places that should be on any national weather map, I reckon. Well, thankfully, we got ourselves sorted out. Uh, I wasn't quite sure what, what was going to happen, as you probably gather. But uh, thankfully, Mel Coles is on hand now in the studio with the full forecast. Good afternoon. Good too. afternoon. I feel I need to clarify. I'm not in fancy dress, just in case you were wondering. I, I didn't think so for a moment. <laughs> Jolly not good. Moment. Right answer. Uh, now, this morning, it was another frosty start for many areas across England and parts of Wales too. You may have been tricked into thinking it was going to be another cold day but actually we've got a southerly airflow so as the sun's come out and the temperatures have started to recover a little bit well what a treat in that sunshine. We have got some rain around though. We've got two weak weather fronts. One of them stretching through Northern Ireland and up into northwest Scotland. The second one down from north, uh, southwest England up into southern Scotland. Away from that though it's fine, it's dry, lengthy spells of sunshine and look at the temperatures back up into the low teens really widely across the the board. Now as we head on into this evening, if you are going out to trick or treating, there are a few showers. They tend to be focused on the western side of the country. There may be something a little bit wintry through the higher ground through northwest Scotland. A few showers for northwest England, parts of Northern Ireland, Wales and down towards the southwest. But away from that, it's fine, it's dry. And when we've had the milder conditions by day, it won't be quite so cold this evening either. Overnight, those two areas of rain will start to merge together and work their way eastwards. And they'll meet another area of rain pushing up from the south up into parts of East Anglia and parts of Lincolnshire. Most of us seeing some rain at some point. And of course, underneath that cloud, it won't be quite so cold as it has been, with the exception being Northern Ireland and parts of Northwest Scotland, where we could see a touch of frost and maybe some mist and fog around first thing tomorrow morning. So Thursday is a bit of a clearing up day. It will start to clear up and brighten up from the west, but that rain really outstaying its welcome through parts of Lincolnshire down into East Anglia and down towards the far south east too. Away from that, a lot of fine dry weather, some good spells of sunshine, just one or two showers peppering western areas, may just reach parts of the West Midlands as we head through the afternoon and temperatures more or less in line with where they are today. So that rain clears away overnight, Thursday into Friday, a ridge of high pressure helps to settle things down, but under clear skies, is going to be another chilly night. A widespread frost even in towns and cities and we may see some mist and fog around first thing on Friday morning. Plenty of sunshine around throughout the day on Friday but you can't help but notice this area of rain starting to edge its way into parts of Northern Ireland before the end of play on Friday and that's courtesy of a deep area of low pressure that's been spiralling its way in across the Atlantic and mixed up in here the remnants of ex-Hurricane Oscar. And that's going to bring some gusty winds particularly to northwest Scotland on Saturday where we could have gusts widely of around 65 miles an hour there and it will be a windy day throughout but notice those temperatures back up into the mid-teens on Saturday and Sunday. Not quite as windy on, on Sunday, the rain focused in the west. Mel, thank you very much indeed. Hello. After a brief flirtation with the colder side of autumn, we'll see a return to its milder side as we approach the weekend. But it was another frosty morning for many areas. Through the day today, though, we've got a southerly flow, and that is helping to lift those temperatures back up into double figures for some southern areas, and many areas will remain dry throughout. But we have got two very weak weather fronts that are going to merge together to form a longer spell of rain, which will affect western areas as we head through this afternoon and towards the early part of the evening. So if you're out trick-or-treating, there will be some rain through northwestern Scotland, southern Scotland, down into northwest England, parts of western Wales and down towards the southwest of England too. But away from that, out towards the east, dry conditions. As we head through the overnight period, then the rain will merge eastwards and it will start to work its way towards another area of rain that's going to be pushing up into the southeast. That will stretch up into parts of East Anglia. Underneath the cloud, it won't be quite as cold as it has been. Many temperatures won't drop much lower than five or six Celsius. A touch cooler though through parts of Northern Ireland up into northwest Scotland where we will see a touch of frost and maybe some mist and fog around first thing tomorrow morning. So here's the rain first thing on Thursday. It gradually starts to work its way eastwards, improving behind it, but a few showers will follow on to western areas once again. A large slice of the UK will be dry with lengthy spells of sunshine. Lincolnshire and East Anglia down towards Kent will hang on to the rain for much of the day, but once again, the temperature's not doing too badly through Thursday. That rain gradually clears away as we head towards Thursday night and Friday. Clear skies, that means temperatures will fall away. Another frosty night, and there may be some mist and fog around first thing. But actually, with a ridge of high pressure, things will be fairly settled for many areas of the UK on Friday. Some spells of crisp autumn sunshine around. 
but things start to turn a little bit downhill as we head towards the latter stages of Friday, and that's courtesy of ex-hurricane Oscar, which has been working its way across the Atlantic, and that will bring a spell of wet and windy conditions, particularly to the far northwest of Scotland, where we could have gusts of around 65 miles an hour. But with that southwesterly flow, temperatures will be back into the mid-teens, so notice it'd be milder but windy on Saturday.